morning ladies right we finished off uh, part three where we had got to glue the linings to the box itself so that's the outer and I glued on the base the outer base we also did the liners for the small one and what you have to do now is glue this small one inside um, and just make it central to the base that's there and I judge this by eye, I just eyeball it and um, these squares either side I usually do it that way so um, glue that down put something weight it in the middle to make sure it really sticks well and um, when you've done that you'll be ready to uh, you can either put a little box in the middle uh, or a pin cushion you can do absolutely anything with this now that you've got the uh, the body of the work done almost you've just got the lid to do next so we glue that down if you want to make a little pin cushion all I do is just put two circles together right sides together sew around the edge turn it through and uh, stuff it with some um, soft toy filling and then I make four um, crosses with some uh, DMC thread and then I go over it again another four so you've got eight sections I'll just put a few little pearls in the middle of this one I don't do them all the same and then I just glue it down and then we can put that to one side I'll do the box lid with you now this is the most complicated bit fiddliest bit of uh, right so you need the lid placed your fabric is face down main fabric is face down you put the lid which is nine and a half centimeters square you should have that cut out and then you place one two three four side pieces around that lid and this is where your cutting has to be precise these side pieces must, must match the edges of the lid and when you're doing this can you leave a little bit of a gap a slight gap from the edge of the lid see a bit of daylight in because we're going to lift that up and you'll need some give in the fabric so you need a little bit of space there right before you start then uh, your piece of fabric needs to be 21 centimeters square uh, again I've put double-sided tape where I'm going to where you would glue so the next thing we do is don't let the pieces move I was going to put some two-way tape on these pieces to keep them down but I don't want anything to show through to the main fabric so um, I'm just going to be very careful with this and uh, where are we Um, I need you to see this pretty close up um, if you just watch where I'm cutting 
with the scissors. I don't go right to the corner. I just cut at the side. Let me just measure that for you. It's about a centimetre or just under. So I'll cut a centimetre at the side of each corner piece. Just cut that corner piece out, but leave about a centimetre there at the corner because you're going to cut into that in a minute. Just hope I've got you there on camera. This is a bit too much light. Now you take the scissors and you cut at a 45 degree angle towards the corner of the box lid there. Do the same there. And again about a centimetre at the side and stop a centimetre. Now I'm going to turn this because uh, I can't get round the table this way. I want to turn this without moving the card. Just about do that. And then cut at an angle, not quite touching the corner of the lid. And do it again a centimetre away from the side. Leave a centimetre at the top. Made a steady hand for this. Cut into the corner at a 45 degree angle, but do not go right to the very edge. Right. Now the tricky bit is to keep everything steady. I'll to take this tape off. And I've put some tape here on the fabric itself but you can use glue. So you put a bit of glue here, a bit of glue here and you turn over the fabric and bring it in slightly towards the end. Just slightly bring it in and do the same on the other side. If I can get this up. It's not playing. Right, do the same this side. It's quite tight, but you'll you'll do it. Now you do that all the way round. As I say, make sure you've got a little gap there. Because when you've done that all the way round, we have to turn it in to the inside of the lid. So I'm just going to take the next one. I'm going to do it with a fabric. Turn 
and that one over first. And do that all the way around. Uh, someone asked me if the parrot had uh, returned because you can hear a, a bird in the background. Uh, when I'd got the parrot, and he was a bit miserable one day, I uh, went out and bought a, a cockatiel thinking that um, perhaps he needed a little bit more company when I wasn't around. And uh, he didn't like the cockatiel. <laughs> so I went out and bought another cockatiel to keep the cockatiel um, company. So now I've got <laughs> I've got two cockatiels and the parrot flew away as you know. So uh, I've got two birds that I hadn't really bargained for. But they're very cute. They're a nice pet actually. And the last one. Well, it's been easier with glue. Right. There we are. Now, when we've got to that stage, then um, you're ready to fold in and glue down here. But before you glue down, lift it up because you will see the fabric will move forward. So hold your fabric, just put a little bit of glue and glue it down there. I'm going to take off this two-way tape and do it that way. Right, so I'll lift it up and glue it. I want to turn that round and do the same again. Fold it over, but before you actually glue, lift it up. Oh, your sides are starting to turn in like that. Okay. Uh, right. <coughs> I'm going to use a little bit of glue here because I'll need glue just on the insides there. It doesn't look. one's not very straight to me so I'm going to take that side off yeah, this would probably be easier with glue if you make a mistake but you need to keep that gap if you don't keep that gap, your box lid won't 
won't come up. So I'm just popping a, a spot of glue here and here and on this section here. Again, fold it in, lift up the side before you press that down. And it doesn't matter what it looks like inside because you're going to cover that with the inside of the lid. So can you see what we've done there? Turn it round. Spot of glue. You don't need a great deal. I've done quite a few of these boxes I, when I first started doing them I made the mistake of using too much glue and had the glue oozing out of the sides everywhere and um, you learn as you go. So you don't put any glue underneath the, the, your fabric when, when you're doing all this gluing. You don't put glue underneath your fabric. Now can you see how that's come together? And all you have to do is take a needle and thread and do a very, very tiny stitch from there to there on each corner. Fold it in with your needle and thread, bring that together on all four sides. Now I hope I've got that on camera because I can't see the screen from where I'm working. When you've done that and you've stitched the sides, take your inner lid piece your inner lid, put some wadding on and some lining fabric, uh, do it in exactly the same way as you did for the lining of the parts of the box and when you've stitched that this will be ready to go inside. Don't glue it yet though. Then I always do the top of the box uh, with a, another padded piece, 9cm square. I do it in the main fabric, but you can do it in the contrast fabric if you want to. So you do exactly the same with that. Then at this stage, before you put this inside your box lid, you need to decide whether you're going to put a button in there a covered button or an ordinary uh, decorative button and you can stitch it through and then glue it onto the top of your box. If you prefer you can sew your button on through both layers and come here and then put the lining inside. Right. When you put your box lining in and you glue it there will be a tiny little um, a tiny little um, it doesn't go right to the edge you have a gap all the way around and you need that little gap all the way around to fit onto your, uh, the top of your box. So that's basically it ladies if you've stayed with me this far, um, 10 out of 10, because I'm not very good at explaining. But if you keep going backwards and forwards on with the video, um, eventually, hopefully, you'll finish up with uh, something like that. I'll put a tassel on that one, the first one that I did. Um, so you can see how the box lid went together 
with the padded top and the padded inside. Um, I think I'd made four boxes before I um, remembered each time to put your button on before you put your inside lid on. Um, that's the only thing I kept forgetting. Um, that's another finished box with the outer base put on. I put that on last. You can put it on last. You can put your lid on, uh, glue it on and put a heavy weight on that way. But um, I think I prefer to do it as I went along. Then you can fill it with absolutely anything. And it doesn't have to be a sewing it way. Um, if you left out the small sections and just had the four outer you could use elastic sides and use it for nail varnish there's a million things you can do with it makeup um, it doesn't have to be for sewing you can uh, if you've got an imagination like a lot, lot of you have um, make it into what you want uh, these do go back to Victorian times as I said they used to be made out of paper and I'm going to do one in paper next I think um, and see how that one comes along um, but this it's not new and uh, but it's a nice little gift and it's very useful and I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial as I say if there's nothing uh, that you understand if you if you need to ask questions just leave them in the comments box I'll be happy to help you out um, I think I've covered everything ladies I think I've covered everything so um, that will be the inner that will be the lid with a pretty button or some lace you can put lace around the edge here if you want to to pretty it up a bit um, but that's entirely up to you all sorts of sewing notions you could put in there so thank you for looking in and bye for now bye